Now, there's a lot of competition on the pitch, but for me, there's a lot of competition off it as well. I'm a trustee at Leeds Rhinos Foundation. I'm here with Lee Mitchell, who works for the Warrington Foundation, who are two of the biggest foundations in rugby league, trying to give back, trying to grow the game from the ground up. I know Warrington do a fantastic job. Sky Try, Sky have been fantastic in that. We've got a lot of Sky Try money coming in. Just give us a bit of an insight Lee, into what you're doing with your Sky Try money. So with our Sky Try money, we get to um, every primary school in year three and year four across Warrington. Um, last year we coached about three, three and a half thousand children, all free coaching um, with us Warrington Wolves coaches. Um, we do that for six weeks in each primary school. From that we take it to a festival at our community clubs and we try and sell our community clubs to the schools and get the kids playing um, and get them into the community game after they've enjoyed it and had a good experience with us in the primary schools. Now, I know we're always willing to share ideas. I'm in charge, actually, of the Rugby League development plan for Leeds. And one of the things I really want to do this year is get the schools back involved, really invest in the schools, and get the school trips down to Wembley for the big days out that kids back in 50s and 60s used to do and still remember, still talk about today, those older fellas. Have you got any tips for me in the way to approach schools and really engage them young people? I think it's a really easy sell to them. Um, if you, they have a good experience with the coaching, um, a good example, we took a school who'd never played rugby um, to Magic Weekend last year. Right. Um, they'd never played, we, we got them, a, we sourced them a kit, we had Sky Try on the kit, we gave them some lessons leading up to it, and then they actually got to experience playing on the pitch at Magic, yeah. and now um, they're looking to go again this year. Um, and they have us in coaching all year now, and that rugby and mad school just from that one experience that we was able to provide them. This guy right here, growing the game in Warrington. Uh, I, I didn't want to go away without asking you about your try. Apparently, you, you outpaced Brent Webb uh, one day. Just, just give us a bit of an insight and tell everybody out there about your try. Yeah, it's probably that high of a great. <laughs> I, I went through Kevin Sinfield as well. I broke through the tackle first. If Kev's watching, yeah, just have a look at that one. <laughs> I'll tell him to watch I'll it. Tell that one. And I don't think it was Brett Webb, I think it was Jordan Tanzi at the time. So was it Tanzi? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's oh, might well. have been my escort in the corner. He's, Sorry, Jordan. He's still playing a little bit, are you? He's still playing? Uh, a little bit. I'm playing for the reserves. Wow. Um, so we've got our first game against Wigan on Sunday. Um, you know, for me, as a player, an, an older player now, I, I want to give back a little bit some of my experiences yeah, and totally play there. Um, for, for Super League in general, I think every Super League club needs a reserve grade. Because yeah. the biggest thing for me when I was playing, and maybe why I'm still not playing Super League now, is when I wasn't playing first team, I had nowhere to play. Yep. And dual reg worked a little bit, but it upsets the championship teams for me. You know, um, every club needs to have a reserve grade, or at least an under 23. It's a big debate. So the top four clubs last year all has had the reserve grade. We've not got one at Leeds, but beyond my control, but I think you've certainly got a point. When I was a kid, I made my debut for reserve grade, I think at Bradford, at about a week after my 16th birthday. And I played against people like Paul Medley, and all over it was, and, but, and Derek Fox, I think, at Featherston the, uh, the week after. And playing against those older legends is great for youth development. You'll know more than anybody, a young kid coming through and having a, a chance to play reserve grade against somebody who's dropped back is a, is a big thing, isn't it? It is, it's massive. Same for me with uh, the under-21s I was playing with. Um, at the time, first team players who were dropping down um, yeah. when I was coming through, and then it changed and it was under 18s and under 19s, and it's like these kids don't have enough, that opportunity anymore, it's just not there for them. Whether it's power station, factory, or stadium, covering installation or maintenance, SPEC, the specialist power contractor to industry.